Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to this lovely thing now. I think uh, Mr. David Wood made a mistake with the uh, with the caption. All living things come from water. Okay, actually, you should say all living things were created from water. And the reason I say that is because that's what the uh, one of the verses says. So let's listen to Mr. Sheikh, the uh, Bill Nye of Islamic Science. Take a step back, relax, just because I'm going to answer you, you got to get antsy. We're, we're calm here, right? We're good, we're good. We're good. All right. So, you as David would have agreed that at least living things are made out of cells, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And you agree that the major component in all cells is water. Yeah. Okay, sure. So, that means the building block of cells is water, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, okay, let's see if Mr. Sheikh Nye is correct. Okay. Now, I believe this is in reference to this verse here, uh, chapter 21, verse 30. Uh, Do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one unit of creation? Well, that right there is a uh, fallacy. Uh, they, Allah doesn't know how the universe was created. Before we clove them asunder, heavens and earth did not exist together. They were not ripped apart. So I don't know what Allah is talking about. But then it goes on to say, we made from water every living thing. Okay, will they not believe? No, I will not believe. We are not made from water. Okay, doki. Just because our body is 70%, 72% water, does not mean that we were made from water. Now, he mentions the building blocks. And he mentioned cells. Great. Yes, we're made out of cells. We're made out of millions of cells. So what? Let's look and see what NASA has to say. Building blocks of life's building blocks come from starlight. Now, this is talking about uh, some study that they did and uh, some, you know, the uh, composition, uh, I guess, stardust or something. But let's see what NASA says. Life exists in a myriad of wondrous forms, but if you break any organism down to its most basic parts, it's all the same stuff. Carbon atoms connected to hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and other elements. It does not say that the building blocks is water and cells. Okay, let's go look at another one. This one is called, this is from Biology uh, Junction, and it's called, why is, oops, 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 sorry guys, why is carbon so important in biology? Key elements of life on Earth. Not life on Mars, not life on Jupiter. Okay, and we go down here. Okay, all right, where are you? Somewhere around here. Oh, why is carbon so important in biology? Oh, I don't know. Carbon is important in biology because without it, life itself would not exist. Notice, it doesn't say without water, life would not exist. Now, I agree. You need water. Okay? Carbon is, an important, is important in every in everyday life for all living beings in order for them to live, grow, and reproduce. Okay, let's look at another one. This one's called, Why is Life on Earth Carbon-Based? Notice it's not saying, Why is Life on Earth Water-Based? Now, they should say why Life on Earth is Water-Based, simply because, according to Muslim logic, since your body is 70% water, it should be. Okay. There's something, uh, if we were to infer the, uh, infer the biochemistry of any life form, from what we have already encountered, which is well, which is well, us, we concluded that it would be based on carbon. Okay, not based on water, based on carbon. Oh, let's keep. Oh, that's an evil looking. Uh, that must be an old ant. All right, under where it says life is complex. Molecular complexity enables the synthesis of functions such as breathing, excretion, digestion, and most importantly, reproduction. Now, here's the kicker. 
none of this would have been possible without carbon. Without carbon, they would, there would have been no DNA. Proteins, lipids, sugar, fat, muscle tissue, or anything else that makes up the stuff of life. Notice, nowhere there does it say, none of this would have been possible without water. Okay, cells, just because they are majority water, okay, because you need water for transportation, you know, and, and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, water is like our air condition, it cools us down through evaporation in the skin, okay, but without carbon, the cells would not have proteins, lipids, sugars to live off. So, again, it, it's kind of weird. When Muslims try to say, just because Allah says everything is made of everything we made from water, that is just wrong. Show me one scientific paper, one biology book that says we are made from water simply on the basis that water, that we are 70 to 72, might even be a little bit higher depending on, on your age, uh, water. What life form do we have that is created from water that doesn't have carbon or all the other elements according to NASA, such as carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and other elements? So, Mr. Milkshake over there, I don't know where he got his science degree from. I don't actually know where Allah got his science degree from, but I got to tell you, they both suck. Okay, now this stuff might work on the low IQ Muslims, because I do know Allah says you're not supposed to question anything. David Wood failed. I mean, David Wood could have really put him in his place by simply asking him, are we water-based or carbon-based? And Mr. Sheikh would have made a shake, because he probably wouldn't have an answer. I don't even know if he understands that we're carbon-based. We're not water-based. And here's something that's funny. What's more important to life, water or air? Well, let's see. Without air, you die within three to four minutes, right? So does that mean that we're created from air? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, although we do have oxygen traveling through our, you know, traveling through our veins. Now, water is important, of course. I mean, the average person will probably die without water if they don't have any water or eat anything that has water, probably within three to five days. You might be lucky and stretch it over to a week, okay? But I would like to see anybody hold their breath for a day. Hell, how about an hour? So if we were to go solely on the basis of what's more important for life, we could, we could say oxygen, because we can't live without oxygen for three to four minutes. But again, oxygen is all part of the uh, building blocks, which are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and minute uh, other elements. I, I mean, this is just fifth grade science. Why David didn't, didn't really smack him upside his koofy is unbelievable. Anyway, uh, I'm done. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back whenever I see some stupidity. Alhamdulillah.